you look now back at all these pivotal moments, these challenges that you've encountered through your journey, right? Through everything we've talked about, it sounds like that was definitely one thing that helped with that customer service training, getting you that core group of people that you can surround yourself with. Has there anything else that's really shaped your approach to business and specifically leadership being at the top, the one that owns decisions that uh, can be hard at times, of course? Yeah, well, it's a, it's, it's a great question. Um, I find that the this evolves for me constantly. There are people that I turn to whose, whose works I read, I consume, I try to meet and interact with. Um, and then also I derive a lot from my clients, a lot of information from my clients. I think that I've lear I'm learning the art of listening, it's closing the mouth, stop talking, and listening. To the extent that I have to talk is maybe asking questions but the information you get back from people is so rich if you can pay attention to it. And when you combine what's happening in the streets with the theory, you, you can find there are, there are, there's a mix, there's a synergy. It, it meshes at times. I, I want to have show you a great inspiration to me lately in the last two years. I happen to have it. I, I didn't mean to pull this out, but I, I will. It's Annette France is built to win book. It sits right here next to my, my workstation in my office at home. Uh, this has been a game changer for me. And if it were an opera, I don't know if it's a shameless plug, if I'm allowed to do this or not, but Annette's book for me has been a game changer for me personally, for the way I've set mission and vision within Callzilla, the way we try to operate on behalf of our clients. And we've, we've placed our employees, our clients, and our customers at the center of what we do. The book Built to Win by Annette is exactly about that, how to become a customer-centric and employee-centric organization. 